Welcome everyone. It's the 17th of June. This is the Jenkins documentation office hours. And reminder, we abide by the Jenkins code of conduct. All right, so here's what I've got as proposed topics for today. So one is pull request review. Uh, that was if, if Zinov had attended today. Um, I've, I've submitted a review and no feedback from Cynthia yet. The other was contributor summit pre preparation. And Diraj, I wanted to talk with you specifically about this one because I just got one more volunteer for our session on next at next week's contributor summit. So this was what I was hoping we make our primary focus today. Are there other topics that anyone else needs to add? No, nothing from my side. Okay, all right. So, um, and there's, I guess as a, let's see, as a matter of, there's no docs track at the contributor summit. I will give a, uh, Mark will give a status report, but we're not gonna do a dedicated track for it because we've got other things we want to do with the time. We're not gonna attempt to change the roadmap at this point. The roadmap's already the biggest challenge for us with the documentation roadmap is making progress on it, not having right. a roadmap. Right. All right, so um, I'm gonna shift this pull request thing then to the bottom and we can talk to it later if we'd like. Contributor summit preparation. So Diraj, I am pleased to note that I had a conversation earlier today with Aditya Srivastava. He says he's one of your classmates at the university there. <laughs> yes. And uh, he's also agreed to assist with the newcomer, with the uh, newcomer, new contributor track. And that's currently outlined, I think, as a 40 minute track uh, dedicated to helping people contribute to Jenkins. Now, uh, I've got a new piece of information. We now have over 1200 registrations for the Contributor Summit. That's so, so great. Yeah, even, even if 90% of them drop out, that's still three or four or five times bigger than the last Contributor Summit we did. So. That's even if all we get is 120 attendees, that's still dramatically bigger than we've had before. So delighted with that. The CDCon registration process has done great things for us. Now, the question is, how, how do we want to approach the new contributors track? So what I had proposed in the session earlier today with Aditya was Mark create a slide deck describing some general concepts. And then um, Diraj talk about his experience becoming a the changelog main writer. All right, because there's something to be learned from your experience there. And I thought that would be great for you to say, hey, here's what went well, here's what didn't go so well, here's what I could have learned better, and this is why this worked and this is why this didn't. Then Aditya has agreed to talk about his experience in infrastructure and advocacy, where he's been participating as well. Now, Diraj, I thought it might also be good if you'd be willing to talk about the React JS opportunities if you're interested. Are you that that may not be? I don't know if that's your if that's a specific spot of interest for you. I know you haven't haven't actively done any React work yet in the on the plugin site or places like that. Would you like to talk to that, or would you rather not? Um. So what will be the eventual aim for this talk from my side? So what I was thinking is if you, if you were to highlight, uh, highlight um, several areas of the project that use React and maybe 
uh, for instance, the plugin site. But the problem is you, you would have to get enough experience between now and then to say, yeah, I'm ready. The other is I could ask, could ask Gavin Mogan to share. I'm just not sure he's gonna have time. Okay. Are you, if, and if React is not a passion thing for you, if you're just case. asking for somebody else, let's not do it. Well, I have contributed like a, a small uh, PRs to the custom distribution project and all of them were based on React.js. Ah, so, okay. So I can talk about that. And uh, as you said, the specific uh, focus should be on the plugin side. So I can, so we have still have some time. So I can research more on that, like on plugin side where React.js is used. So I can talk about that. And uh, so will Gavin will be able to help me? As you said, he is busy, so. Well, it's uh, even if uh, that's a good point, even if all you talked about was your submissions, mm -hmm. to the custom distribution service, that's mm -hmm. already a good way of saying, look, here is a very specific example using React JS that mm -hmm. I submitted and I didn't do any Java. I didn't do any, mm -hmm. any, anything other than this was a React JS project. Mm -hmm. Right. I can do that totally. And if if others are if other things are are available, great. That's optional. Just having the problem for me is I cannot I cannot reasonably talk about React JS contributions because I am I don't contribute React, whereas you do. I can talk about Java and I can talk about documentation and I'm actually credible in those two areas, but I am utterly not credible when it comes to React. So it would be great if you're willing to share. Hey, look, here's what it was like for me doing this. It's it's not hard. You just do these things. I would love to do that, definitely. Great. All right. We will put you on that list then. Excellent. Okay. Good. So you you should plan. You'll probably have between five and 10 minutes between those two things total. So I'll, I'll send the slide deck. You can put your slide, what you would like to say as guidance into it, and then we'll just have you share. Sure. So can I also get uh, the information about what particular time limit that I have on channel speak? I think like for you bet. So what I'll do is I'll uh, mark place, insert placeholders in the slide deck. And assume, what should we assume? We've got a total of about, I think we've got a total of 40 minutes. Maybe let's outline the agenda here. So um, 40 minutes. So in the 40 minutes, what I'd say is let's do Maybe we say 10 minutes of, of general and opening, of opening and general contribution. So Java and docs, and then give you five minutes on weekly change log. Aditya, five, up to five minutes on infrastructure and then would you be willing to take five minutes on react or would you rather have more than that yeah, i understand there's a lot of things that we need to have in this small time so i i'm good with five okay great all right and then i would think we want question and answer for probably 10 to 15 minutes so that if people have specific questions, they can ask them and we can help with them. And I think that takes the whole time. Yeah, so that would be the, the 40 minutes. I like, the, I like a lot having different voices, especially not my voice. So that's great, Diraj. Thank you very much for being willing. Now, Kristen, I would be happy to include you in this if you would like. 
Um, if you need me to talk about anything, I don't really have much to say. Again, I've been trying to like focus a lot on um, GSOC for this like period of my open source life. Um, right. But and I would like to get back into this maybe in the fall. Um, so I do have some general like ideas of what I think could be maybe help get people to contribute or to encourage mm. contribution. Um, but yeah, I just. Well, I helped with the last one, and there really weren't too many people that um, came to our breakout session. Um, so I, I can also help if we're if we'll have a breakout session to documentation. But I don't really have much. I have unfortunately not been as active in actually producing documentation. Um, no, that, that's period that's time. great. Your your focus on GSOC okay. is deeply appreciated. I am yeah. so pleased with our results from Google Summer of Code. Uh, when yes. when Oleg sends a status message and says things look look like they're going well, that is really high praise. So <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. It's like oh, I want that to go well this summer. So yeah, <laughs> I apologize. Absolutely. Like I'll I'll try to be more active after that period. No, no, that no apology <laughs> so. necessary. That's that's great. That is absolutely wonderful. Okay, good. All right, so I will send you, I'll send send the link to the slide deck and Diraj, you and I will also discuss it, I assume, at our Tuesday office hours. If I remember correctly, you're still available for next Tuesday, is that correct? Definitely, yes. All right, great, excellent. Anything else we need to discuss on Contributor Summit? Any areas of concern, Diraj, for you or things where you're, you're worried about this or that? Well, before this, I was concerned about how I'm going to contribute. So now I have a clear plan about what I need to speak. So I'm really happy. Okay, great, excellent. So this 40 minutes is for given uh, this 40 minutes given us for the documentation or just full contributors I mean, I'm not sure. Well, so the, the 40 minutes is for, let mm -hmm. me bring it up. The 40 minutes is for the track that's focused on new contributors. So here I'm gonna bring up, oh. this is the schedule draft. Let's mm -hmm. put it in the links. Draft. Draft outline. And then the draft schedule. And the schedule is the more detailed thing. The schedule is a, a sheet that Olivier Bernin has been assembling. So, and I don't know if you can see it here. Let's make the text bigger. All right. So starts at 9 a.m. Eastern time, which if I remember correctly is about 6.30 p.m. or 7 p.m. your time. Then we will, we will be on this one right here. So this row contributed, contributing to Jenkins, we get 40 minutes and it will be you and me and Aditya and we'll lead that session. The hours will be running concurrent with a plug-in end of life policy session that James Nord will be leading. And then we will end and switch to other topics like me, I'll probably go into the next session, which is outreach program. And then the next one I'll attend is Java 11. Does that, does that answer your question? Yes, no, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So let's put this. Yeah, so and we've got we've we've done many of these presentations on how to contribute the for me the distinction of this one is your voice Diraj and Aditya's voice, rather than it being my voice and I'll use I'll bring in some of the old materials some of the previous materials I've used so that that'll be basis but really the I think the most interesting is hearing from brand new contributors saying yeah this is what it took for me to become a contributor. Aditya is working a Google Summer of Code project. Here you are working documentation and helping with React work on, on the distribution service. So I think those are really interesting. Yes, same here. I think that will encourage other, other students or other newcomers 
to contribute as well. Good, very good. Okay. All right, then then that's that's what I had. And I see the only other topic I had for today was the pull requests that are pending for the Jenkins documentation site. And here, if we look at those, there was this one right here from Cynthia, one of our She Code Africa contributors. And I've given feedback and I don't think she's seen it yet. So, so nothing really to do there. And others, oh, this one is a major one that uh, YR Sudakar had done that I've done initial reviews, but it needs reviews from other people. Right, okay, good. I saw that Tim was on the, as a reviewer and it's like, I really think that Tim would be one of the best reviewers too. Comment right. on this. Absolutely. Like, well, and and I'm as I'm watching in the plugin installation manager Gitter channel, I'm realizing that there are probably more use cases that should be flagged in this, to be described in this than are currently described. So so it's such a broad thing, and plugin installation right. manager tool is so capable of so many things that that this document is even more important than I initially thought it would be. So yeah, crucial. Okay, yeah. It's like, can we start with something small? And then if we find some cases, where should we flag those? Like, it should be open a, I, I want to be able to record them. Um, where should we open something so we don't lose them? Like, is it going to be a, something in the plugin inst installation manager tool, like backlog? Or is there something we should put in an issue in Jenkins IO? Um, in link it to the page. Of, I'm not entirely, yeah, I just want to make sure we don't documenting forget them. Documenting it here, I would create an issue, an issue in the Jenkins.io site for the documentation of that okay. thing. But okay. now that you there isn't a page yet to even associate it with because this hasn't been merged. So for now, it could just be in the pull request. Okay, just kind of put it as another comment. But yeah, right. I, I didn't want it to turn into a you know the pull request that can never close because we just keep finding more. Um, right, right, and and that's and that's a valid point. And I think, I think we want to get this thing over the line right. and, and add to it. Absolutely. So let me, let me put a note on that one. So uh, Sudakar's, oops. PR for plugin installation manager. And the one for Cynthia was this one. And this one actually has an interesting side, side challenge that maybe it's worth exploring with you, Kristen. What Cynthia's PR does is it takes a very, we have an issue reported here, redirect this page from the wiki page to the doc site. And those are good things to do because it's removing content from the wiki. So right. that's, that's a big plus. This is a tiny piece of a bigger picture story. This one is just a little bit of warning about don't try to start agent.jar without arguments. It doesn't, it doesn't behave okay. the way you think it would. Um, okay. The bigger picture is this page on using agents is, has very little in it. It only does Docker. It has nothing about static agents, nothing uh, about EC2 okay. agents or Azure agents or, or Kubernetes agents or OpenShift agents. Oh, and wow. and okay. so it, it, agents is this great big open space. And right. what, what her change is going to do is it's going to add one more section to the end of this thing that's a very specific thing. And uh, but it's not, we've got a whole lot of more work to do on this page. Okay. But my thought was, okay, one step at a time, we'll do one little thing and then do the next right. little thing. Right. Okay. Um, if it's, if, um, if it's taking, if she's not able to come back to it, maybe in a couple of weeks, um, is it possible for one of us to just, to can we commit to the PR? Oh, yes, uh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. 
In, in okay. fact, I, I described that to her in the PR. I said, oh, hey, okay, cool. I, I, I gave her my apologies. It was two weeks that it sat without me reviewing it. And then I oh, finally right. got to it and reviewed it. I said, hey, so sorry. Uh, but if it takes you more than a few days, I can. I certainly have the permissions to go in and make the few changes that are needed. Okay, right. Yeah, because I sometimes, you know, you go, I think she was a student, you know, go back to school and maybe um, time flies, right? right? <laughs> you know, like next thing you know, it's been a month um, and you're just in class and it's just a lot. <laughs> so, right, exactly. So, yeah. Well, well, and, and it's what she's done is helpful. And right. therefore, we don't want to just let it sit. If, if in a week or so it hasn't been merged, I'll probably just make, or hasn't been modified, I'll make the changes and then merge it. And that way we can close the issue because it gets an issue off our backlog. Sure. Okay, good. For And, and Diraj, one of the, one of the topics in our talk in this general section that I'll do is docs migration from wiki to www.jenkins.io. And another is docs migration from, let's call it this way, plugin docs migration to into plugin repositories. And those two topics, those two topics alone, we've we've done one hour webinars on each of those. So there's plenty of plenty of work to do in both those areas. Yes, there are lots of issues on this one. Right, exactly. All right, so I think we talked about pull requests. We could do a, a further look. I'm not aware of any, any large open, oops, here we go, let's find. Yeah, so there are some relatively quick ones to review and ah, yes, here's one that's coming that Diraj, you should be aware of. There will be a weekly release of Jenkins in, at some time in the future that will declare boldly that certain plugins are no longer supported. And uh, this non-Java plug, not plugins that are not written in Java. And we have several that are written in Ruby and one or two that are written in Python. And the Ruby runtime has been problematic at all sorts of levels. And so we are finally admitting that we're going to stop at some time in the future supporting Ruby plugins based on the Ruby runtime. By supposing you mean that there will be no bug fixes and feature enhancements, right? No, meaning they will just stop working. It's this is even more dramatic. The, this, oh. We we are the the liability of carrying forward this thing is so great. For example, oh. it doesn't run correctly on Java eleven. And we're confident it will never run correctly on Java 17. And so it's just not, it's not a, it's not a viable thing for us to bring it forward. And since it's not viable to bring it forward, it's just time to admit we're not going to, to attempt to maintain this thing anymore. Oh, okay. So if people are using some Ruby based plugins, so uh, how are they going to deal with this? Do they have any if, alternative? They will have to look for alternatives. And mm -hmm. thankfully, most of the, almost all the plugins have a very tiny installation count and a very a small installation count or are so old that they've long ago been replaced. So for instance, this one last released five years ago and there are several much better choices than, than that. Uh, this okay. one, Likewise, cucumber, mm. this one, likewise. So each of these, and it, it isn't until we get to really tiny installation numbers way down like here, if I remember right, where this one may not have a replacement, but it's so old and so untouched that we think there are very few people who will be harmed. Right. Okay. 
yeah so and now the the when that happens hasn't been finalized yet but just be aware that there will be a weekly change log coming your way that says hey we dropped this and there will be a blog post to go with okay. it so all right and uh, as you said there's going to be some sessions on uh, migrating the key docs to Jen jenkins.io uh -huh. so on that um, as you said there is going to be some prizes for top 5 contributors so is it still there sorry say that again there's going to be yes so there's going to be any kind of competition like top 5 contributor get some swags or something like that oh right so, earlier, so so is is that what you're asking about is will there be will there be yes so yes. That, that's a good question and and i've still got an open question that i have to answer with the the organizers open question on how much swag we can send and how we choose recipients. So for example, one of the one of the ideas was, uh, we may just be able to send swag to, to those who present, uh, or we may present send swag only to the first 50 who join or something like that. But that's the, the Continuous Delivery Foundation correctly observed they cannot afford to send a t-shirt to 1200 people. You know, that's that's just more budget than they've that's got to lot. spend yeah so right. mark to find answers to the swag questions soon yeah Anything else on Contributor Summit? Yes. So the video, so the presentation is going to be live, or I'll be recording a five minute and sending it to you. I had planned to do it live. Are you okay doing it live? Definitely. That's a challenge. Great. I love it. Okay. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it would be dramatically easier for you, or if you say, hey, I'll be sleeping at that time, we could record it. But for me, making it live allows you to show and then allows people who are observe who are watching to ask questions and interact with us. Whoa, okay, so there's going to be some questions. <laughs> Afterwards, yes. So at, at the end of the 40 minutes, I hope to spend at least 10 minutes doing questions mm -hmm. and answers. Hmm, right. Okay, that's great. Okay. Oh, and, and I should say it, it, it live it will be a live presentation, but I believe we would also intend to record it. For later sharing. So don't, don't show something secret or confidential on the screen. It, it will be remembered. Sure. <laughs> Okay. Anything else we need to discuss today? Um, so in coming Tuesday, there's going to be definitely a weekly log. So I was trying to, uh, I'm trying to ask you when is going to be the next LTS change of uh, practice for me? So the so this coming to this coming mm -hmm. Tuesday next Tuesday will be another weekly so that's that we'll plan to do that as a change log and mm -hmm. we will in next Tuesday session if time allows we'll go through and I'll do the LTS change log so that you can watch and ask questions so I'll do the 289.2 change log during next week's session. Did, did that answer your question or did I ask answer the wrong question? Yes, you answered it correctly. So just to cross check, uh, the LTS log that you're going to do, it's going to be done next Tuesday or Thursday? 
next. So I'll I'll direct, I'll create the first draft of the LTS change log next Tuesday in mm -hmm. our office hours. This mm -hmm. session next Thursday will be canceled because it will collide with the continuous delivery conference with CDCon. Hmm. Got it. Okay. It's a good good reminder. Uh, no meeting next week. Next week, CDCon is next. Let's call it this way. No meeting next Thursday. Or what day of the week is it for you right now? Is it Friday, Diraj, or Thursday? Well, so <laughs> it's Friday, yes. Okay, so next Thursday slash, I have to have to remember where we are in time zones. So you're, you've already reached mm. Friday, your day. Okay. Yes. All right. Any other topics? Nothing from my side. Okay, then let's let's call this a done session. Thanks very much, and talk to you again on Tuesday, Diraj. I'll send you a link to slides before then, and we can collaborate through the slides as well. Sure. Looking forward to it. All right. Thanks very very much. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thanks,